morning dog lovers my name is joseph como welcome to fidel kennel and welcome to dog tv kenya the best documentary channel for all dog lovers so today i'm going to show you around this, this kennel our kennel uh, i'm going to show you how we we deal with uh, these beautiful animals uh, these dogs we have a few breeds here and uh, in the morning uh, at around quarter to seven a.m. Uh, we start by cleaning, we clean the, the kennels uh, up until 9 a.m. Uh, when all the, the kennels are clean, uh, we, if it is a day for cleaning the dogs, we clean them. Or sometimes we dust the dogs uh, for, to avoid the ticks and to control the, the parasites because these are animals and some, uh, you know, they have to go for walks and uh, we, we control the ticks and the fleas and then this is the time now we start by cooking. Uh, we cook up until uh, around 12 in uh, noon. So when we cook uh, then we leave the food to, to cool. Then we come back to the kennel, see if the, there's more cleaning to be done. And then at around uh, 3 uh, we have to at around 2 p.m., uh, we, we give them water, and then uh, this is around 4 p.m. now. Uh, we start uh, walks. We will do the walks, and we do the trainings also. Uh, this, was, this, this we do. We don't do to, uh, to all the dogs, but uh, during the week we, we have the schedule for which dog for which day. Uh, we do the walks uh, two times. Uh, the dogs have to walk two times in a week. Uh, we do some long walks and then some uh, short walks. So I began uh, maybe breeding. I started with some uh, security dogs for, for, for this compound. Uh, I started about 10 years ago. But breeding, I uh, started about three years ago breeding, uh, professional breeding. Uh, these uh, this were due to the love for dogs mainly. Uh, I, I bought some, uh, acquired some dogs, uh, started breeding some, I got some clients who said they are interested with some breeds. And uh, this mainly was just because of the love for dogs, yeah, and uh, because they are good companions and friends. My first dog breed was a German Shepherd, and that's of course because uh, that's the, the first dog someone knows is a German Shepherd, so I acquired my first German Shepherd. I have the German Shepherds, I have pit bulls, uh, these pit bull terriers, I have Doberman, I have Bobels, I have uh, Rotuela. Uh, those are some of the breeds I have here in the Fidel Kennel. I like unique uniqueness, unique dogs, and uh, so some of these breeds you, you, you get to see, they are very unique, especially the Dobermans. So that's why I got a, I got a Doberman, which is very a, a very unique dog. Pitbulls also, they are very unique. German Shepherd, especially I got them for security, and uh, also the Bobels because of the big size. I like big dogs too. My favorite is uh, and will always be a Doberman because uh, it's a very unique and friendly dog. Okay, for feeding, uh, feeding is a bit different for the puppies. Because uh, puppies we feed, uh, we, we at least feed them two or three times a day. Uh, this we can do with the, with, with the dry foods, maybe in the morning during breakfast. And then uh, we give the chicken or the, the dough chicks with rice uh, during the day. And in the evening too, we give the rice and maybe beef or some chicken. This for the puppies, but for the, for the big dogs, uh, for the adult dogs, we mainly do chicken and beef uh, with rice or some uh, dog meal. We get some dog meals. Uh, this also we do uh, for the big dogs, maybe the Bobels and the Dobermans. This we do one time, one time a day. We feed them once a day and then uh, with a big portion. They like the big portion for the, for the big dogs. Yeah, dance once a day. Breeding requires uh, you to have a, a vet who is a very, 
very committed to his work. And uh, because a vet who is also who, who can also be relied upon, you know, when you call a vet, these are the dogs are very sensitive, especially the puppies. So you need a, a, a vet who to to vaccinate, and uh, many other medications. We we go by by the vet's advice. The the first uh, vaccination we do is for the parvo parvo virus, uh, that is a killer for the puppies. So you have, you must vaccinate uh, first the first 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 dose at uh, one month. That is four weeks. Uh, then uh, after another month, you give the second dose. And then uh, the third, you give a DHLP. And then when the puppy reaches like uh, four months or five months, uh, you give uh, rabies, which is uh, the, the rabies vaccine. Uh, you should repeat it to all the dogs, at least uh, annually. Uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is a v the vaccination we do. We also do deworming. Uh, the warming uh, maybe by injection or uh, the, the tablets. Uh, grooming is different in uh, depending on the on the coat of the of the dog. So uh, the the long coats, uh, the, the the like this, for example the German Shepherd, uh, grooming is uh, done uh, weekly or twice a week, uh, depending and the cleaning also. You have to you have to you have to clean them twice a week uh, using maybe shampoos and then you have to maybe once a week you have to do some dusting also for the long coats and then for the short coats uh, you just clean once weekly on weekly basis you have to clean them yeah okay please uh, we control them we using uh, different shampoos also we have uh, the repellents for flea, uh, flea repellents, we have uh, so we, we clean them. We, we clean our kennel using the repellents, and also we clean the dogs also, and uh, we dust them using the the the, the flea control, the, the dusting flea controls. When when we are walking the dogs, uh, you you meet you, you must meet with other dogs, even the you know the the ones which are just roaming around. Uh, so to avoid the diseases, you must vaccinate your dogs. Vaccine is a, is a must for the dogs. And then another thing, uh, when you feed your dogs with a good diet, uh, their bodies will also be resistant to to these kinds of some some diseases. And then you must also clean clean your dog after a walk. Uh, you clean your dog after a walk. This to avoid the the the, the ticks, for example, from the from the cows outside there, you have to avoid the tick flu, uh, which is very, which is also a killer disease. So with this we clean our dogs after every walk. We, we must dust or clean our dogs. Okay, the mainly the exercises we have for the dogs. Uh, we sometimes we play around with the with the dogs. Uh, some of these dogs are are working line, so we have to. They have the ball drive, so we have to play around with the dogs. And we also do obedience training, because uh, that is a basic training for a dog. Uh, all the other trainings fall under obedience, because uh, even the, the aggression, uh, a dog must be obedient first to be aggressive. So to, to act on your command, this dog must, must know that he that's supposed to obey these, uh, these commands. Uh, and so we have... Uh, we have basically we have done the obedience for all our dogs, uh, the, bigico, uh, the basic uh, obedience for dogs, and then for the security dogs we do the aggression work. Uh, this is uh, because uh, we we we, uh, we are planning also to to do this for security companies, and uh, in future. We also be we also be a big company which will be supplying the security dogs, so this, this is why we are doing the training. So training is for all dogs, and uh, workout is for all the dogs. Okay, yeah, businesses have challenges. Uh, mainly in uh, breeding dogs, uh, you you get the challenge of uh, maybe these diseases. Some of them, the medications, will fail. Uh, for example, 
some years, some years back we had a, a dog uh, with which had cancer, so it was a it was a big issue. And then uh, feeding also feeding has feeding is a problem, so it's a challenge. But uh, we manage. We, we we try our best to feed them on a very good diet. And uh, yeah, those are the many the challenges. Then uh, maybe market wise, let me say the market is wide uh, because of the social media. But uh, all these challenges uh, they they just make us stronger. First, uh, for those who don't have a dogs and may like to own a dog, uh, dogs are very good animals. Uh, they need, but uh, they have also, you need to treat your dog well, so that also the dog can uh, treat you well. So for, if you like uh, to own a dog, you, are, you must also be committed. Uh, for, you must show commitment to your dog. For example, feeding, cleaning and everything. So these, uh, these dogs need a, lo needs a lot of care, but it will also take care of you. Uh, in one way, because uh, this, this is therapy also. When you walk around with your dog, when you play around, uh, you, get, uh, you get motivation. And uh, just staying with a dog is uh, it's therapy. For those who are with dogs, uh, maybe what we did here at Fidel Kennel, uh, we specialized with uh, just, uh, we are not, uh, the kennel is very, not very big, but uh, at least uh, we have tried our best to maintain the cleanliness especially with the drainage that is uh, one thing that that uh, challenges people uh, the drainage because uh, you get some they want to to carry the the waste and uh, dogs as uh, as far as you're feeding the dogs well uh, they will they will get to poop around so uh, cleanliness is key and then for if you don't want to get committed to your dog, then uh, you'll, 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 get, you'll, you'll, you'll get a hard time. Okay, the, the first training for, if you have, if you have a family, is socialization. Uh, that is very key. Uh, socializing your dogs with your family members and uh, with also other people outside. When you walk your dog, uh, it gets to know other people and uh, also your family members. So maybe if you, if you have a, a new member of the family, we have to introduce, uh, you have to introduce him or her to, to the dogs. And uh, every dog, every dog has his, his or her own character. So even the Rottweilers, you find that some are very aggressive, but if you give them the right socialization to family, to your kids, they'll be, they'll, they'll also become family. They, they become a part of your family, yeah. Uh, Doberman, uh, Doma, Doberman pincher, uh, is, uh, it is commonly known as. Uh, this I said, it's a very, very unique dog. It is, it is unique in many ways. Uh, first, uh, this dog, if you want to own a dog and you don't have a dog, this dog does not feed a lot. Uh, yeah, it is a, it, you cannot compare it to these bow bells or the, the larger breeds. Uh, the other main uh, advantage of, of, a, of a Doberman their disease res resistance is, is high, you know, they are able to resist more with the illnesses. So because I, the last time I checked, uh, it has been a long time uh, since I called a vet to check on the Doberman because, uh, you know, it just needs deworming, maybe vaccination and uh, just the cleanliness and the love, you know. Yeah, the Doberman, they, they get attached to a person. So if they get attached to you, you know, they, they give you love, and so you must give them love too. Uh, they like playing, uh, especially the European, these are, have the European line. Uh, their temperament is high, but also due, with, uh, with due training, you know, when you give them the right training, uh, for example, the obedience, yeah, they become, they become very friendly, but also they can take commands. Yeah, they are security. They are very good security dogs, and uh, very good pets too. Yeah, Doberman. I like. I love Dobermans. And uh, like here in the in the kennel right now, we have puppies. 
we have around uh, six puppies and uh, they, are, they are very nice and we have cropped them and we have uh, wrapped them. This is the second week of wrapping and uh, they, are, they are doing good. And uh, this I can say even a new breeder or maybe a new, uh, if you are a new dog, do, new dog lover, you get to know the Doberman because uh, they are very playful also. And uh, I, can, I can say we also giving them at a very low fee. So we'll give our number there. Uh, below your screen there you see our number. Uh, the number you can use 0718-033-617. 0718-033-617. Yeah, that's my number uh, to reach me. Facebook. Yeah, Jose G. Komu. We also on IG, Jose G. Komu. Fidel Kennel also. And uh, YouTube also, Fidel Kennels. And uh, for sure, Doberman, uh, they are not very cheap dogs. Uh, you know, cheap is expensive. So these dogs are quality, they are unique. And uh, you have to dig, in, dig, 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 dig a little bit deeper in your pocket. But uh, they are available for now. Maybe for some for some few months. Yeah. Uh, as you see, we have many dogs in Fidel Kennel, and we are planning also to get many and many more breeds here. I have a, one guy who we work with here. His name is Marvin, and uh, maybe when I'm not around, he's around here. He, do the, he does the cleaning, and uh, he'll demonstrate how he does it. So. Uh, hello guys, my name is Marvin Maina. I'm the cleaner here. Uh, I'm the keeper. I always say I'm the keeper here. Uh, I love this job. Eh? Yeah. And I'm happy to work here with the dogs. Uh, right now I'm washing one of the puppies. Uh, I always do this daily for the puppies, for the Huge, huge breed there. I always do it twice a day or, uh, or twice a week or thrice a week. Uh, every day, when I wake up every day, I always come here first. I do the cleaning. After cleaning, I feed the puppies. After feeding the puppies, I always prepare food for the huge dogs, which I feed in the evening. Uh, after walks, I always feed them after having the walks. Yeah. This is the way we have uh, built our and designed our kennel. Uh, we did this uh, with, a, with, a, with a guy with a lot of uh, experience in building. So the, the main thing that challenged with the kennels is the drainage. So we put a very good drainage here, a six inch pipe under the slab, and then uh, we have slanted. We have slanted the kennel towards the, the drainage, so all the water and all the waste, even the the urine goes down. You can see the water going to the trench, and uh, this uh, this helps a lot uh, during cleaning. So you cannot have the hard time when you are cleaning. Yeah. Then uh, we have done the, this part. This part is for basking in the sun, and uh, for getting the vitamin D. Then the inside, when it gets raining uh, at night, they go inside. You can see uh, the Rotwella is a bit tired, they are sleeping. Duke? Here, this side, we have our kitchen. Uh, this, uh, this is where we do, we, we do the, the cooking. Uh, you can see uh, a few months ago, we used to, we, we were using firewood, but right now we are using used oil. Uh, this used oil is from the cars. Well, the, the one which has been used by the vehicles, the motorbikes. So we get them from the garage and uh, it's, a bit, it's a little bit, uh, it's cheaper than the firewood and it's very economical. So I can advise the uh, dog lovers and the breeders, you can introduce this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of cooking, Jiko. Uh, we have, uh, this, uh, th this pipe brings the oil from the, our storage there. We have about 200 liters in store. So 
when you open this tap, the oil gets in here, and then we, we cook our food here. And it's very fast. It's, uh, the, the fire here, the furnace, is very hot, hotter than even the gas. So if the gas gets too high, uh, you can introduce this kind of cooking technique. It's very cheap and uh, very economic. Uh, this side we have uh, a story, this is our, our deep freezer. Uh, right now we are using the day-old chicks. Uh, we get the day-old chicks and we use it for, for the proteins. The animals, this, the, the dogs need uh, animal protein, so that's why we are using the, even the eggs. You see, the day-old chicks and the, and the eggs. We also use the flour, the dog meal. This kind of flour with omena, biscuits, and uh, this also provides us with uh, other minerals uh, other than proteins. Uh, this, uh, this is very good for the coat, for the coat for dogs. Yeah, and uh, puppies also we get the dry foods and uh, we get uh, all the nutrients done here. This is our kitchen, love it. Yeah, this year we do the, the work. I'm going to introduce you to uh, the large breeds. Uh, this is Chile. Chile, Chile, is, Chile is one year old. Chile is one year old and uh, is a big bond doorbell. Uh, has been with us for like six months. So that's a South African doorbell. And then uh, I'm going to introduce you to the Doberman. This is uh, this is uh, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. And this is Lisa. Uh, she's about uh, one one year six months. Uh, this is her first her first litter, and this is a very friendly dog, working line, European line. And uh, as I told you, Dobermans are my favorite breed, and uh, this is her first litter. Uh, she she will turn here maybe. Yeah, that that is uh, all about the the Doberman. Very lovely dog and very calm. Uh, this side we have uh, Mia. Mia is about two years old. Uh, she has uh, given us a, a litter. And this is Groot. Groot is one year old. A uh, very big, very big boy. And uh, we also have him here for in our kennel for studs. If you want to get studs for bobbells, we have Groot. A uh, very, very good dog, South African Bobel. Then uh, this side we have the Pitbull Terrier. We have Anna. Anna is a pink nose, as uh, commonly known for the breeders. They know the the pink nose. Uh, these are, he's uh, eight, she is uh, eight months old. Uh, she is now, she is in her first season. So maybe we'll we'll skip the first one. Then we give her. Uh, the stud in the next season. Then here we have uh, a Brindo, who is a pit bull terrier. Uh, his name is Venom. Very lovely pit bull. Uh, also available for studs. Uh, pit, uh, Venom. Venom is a is a very strong strong pit bull. Uh, they are very be very beautiful colors, and for these brindles, he can give you a black, he can give you a brown, a red pit bull, or maybe he can give you also a black, black and white, and also maybe uh, a brindle one also. So that is uh, the best part about venom. And uh, uh, here we have these. Uh, there's the, there's the cleaning. We have the the, the Dobermans. Uh, they are now 3.5 months. Uh, very large, very healthy dogs. So after cleaning, we'll do the wrapping again. Uh, the wrapping is is done in the first after cropping. So after cropping, they must be wrapped for some time, maybe for two months, uh, before the ears get upright. Yeah. So now this side we have uh, we have a rotuela. Duke, Duke, Duke. This is a rotuela. 
uh, a bit shy today, but uh, shy for the camera, but very aggressive dog. Yeah, his name is Duke, registered Rotuela, uh, with a very big bond body, and uh, he's a very aggressive dog, but uh, sometimes get uh, shy for the camera, but uh, he's a beautiful, beautiful Rotuela. This side we have Daisy, just a beautiful dog, a good breed too. Yeah, just for for the kennel. I just met her some times back uh, due to the colors and, uh, you know, I, I just rescued this puppy and uh, because uh, the, the mother died when she was uh, around five weeks, so I had to rehome and uh, rescue her. But now she's doing well, healthy, about four months old, and uh, we'll keep her here in Fidel Kennel. We rescue also the homeless dogs. Yep. This side we have Ziggy. Katoka. Ziggy, in. Ziggy, Ziggy is a 1.5. She's pregnant, that's why she, we are keeping her here in the maternity. Uh, maybe she, she's a, in, Ziggy. She's a, ex expecting a litter. And she's a, she's a working line in a very beautiful sebo, a, a German Shepherd sebo, very beautiful colors, and uh, she, likes, she likes to be pet. So soon she'll have a litter here. So you can also contact us about that litter, sebo. So this is our, mat our maternity for the dogs. Uh, usually when we have a litter here, put uh, the, the bulb here, the heat bulb, and uh, we close the door when the, when, when the puppies are, when the puppies finish their suckling, we, we, we put the, the mother outside and we keep them here for heat. And uh, it's a very warm house and a very spacious one. So we, we, we will spread the blanket maybe when they are first weeks, and then later we'll, we'll remove it to remain with the wood. Uh, now guys, uh, these are uh, our puppies, as you can see, they are very healthy, uh, the Doberman, 3.5 months, very healthy, very big bones. Uh, these, we also supplement the, the feeding with the milk, uh, we do the goat milk, uh, goat milk is 80% uh, uh, mother's milk, so when the, when the mother is out of, the, uh, uh, is not lactating, uh, we, we give the, the goat milk. Uh, here we, in the farm also we have goats. We have daily goats. Uh, that's where we get the milk from. So dog milk, uh, the, the goat milk is very good for the puppies uh, because uh, I hear some people say about the, the other kinds of milk that they make uh, the stool very thin. So for, for the goat milk, it's very good for the puppies and with the good calcium and protein. I'm going to take you to the farm where we do the, 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 the daily goats and you, you, you will see the, the kinds of goats we have there and uh, where we get the milk from. Yeah, so come with me. In. So now we go to the, to the daily goats. Here we, this is where we keep the, the goats, the daily goats. And uh, we also do breeding of the daily goats because of the milk, we also consumers of the milk, and it's very good for the dogs. Uh, as I said earlier, it's uh, the goat milk is 80% dog mother's milk. So when the dog uh, stops lactating, we give the we introduce the dog the the goat milk, very healthy calcium and the proteins, very high. This is a uh, German. This is a German breed. Uh, we have the uh, French, uh, the French ones also, but uh, mainly in this uh, place we have uh, the German. This called the uh, we have the the Sanen. Yeah, we have the little ones here. Some of them uh, just give birth. And uh, these, these goats mainly give birth to twins and triplets. And they get, uh, maybe one, one goat can give uh, at around 3.5 liters in the morning, two liters in the evening. So that's uh, 
an average of five or 4.5 liters in a day. And uh, very healthy milk. Uh, we, we feed them also with protein, protein feed. This is uh, Lusan. Lusan is very nutritious in protein. That's why we keep them up there. We keep our bales there. And uh, this helps the, 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 the goat also to produce a lot of milk. This is a natural mineral block uh, which we feed to, the, to our lactating goats. We also supplement with the, the, daily meal, the daily meal for the proteins. It's a source of proteins. Yeah, and thank you for watching this channel. Uh, thank you for listening to us, Fidel Kennel. Uh, we thank you for watching Dog TV channel, uh, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. Like, subscribe, and comment. Hello, our viewers. If you'd want to sponsor Dog TV Kenya so that we continue enjoying our beautiful episodes and uh, we continue learning uh, as usual, you can kindly contact us uh, at 0721 81 And today we thank our sponsor, Kehara Mwangi, and uh, we are grateful he's the one who sponsored this episode of Fidel Kennel. For all dog lovers, if you want to continue enjoying, you can kindly contact us. You can also continue watching, continue subscribing, continue liking, sharing, and commenting. To all our viewers who comment, we truly appreciate you and we thank you for everything you do unto us. We pray that you continue being with us as we continue journeying together to showing you the best documentary and uh, so that we continue learning. As we say, this is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. Thank you. My name is Joseph Como. Uh, this is a well. <laughs>